superposition of incoherent waves. Incoherent waves do not maintain a constant phase difference. Already we have discussed the properties of coherent waves and incoherent waves. So we know that incoherent waves do not maintain a constant phase difference. If a wave maintain a constant phase difference, we will call it as a coherent wave. But most of the common light sources are coming under the category of incoherent source. Phase of the wave fluctuates at a rate of 10 raised to minus 8 per second. For any common light sources or for any incoherent waves, the phase of the wave is not a constant but it changes at a rate of 10 raised to minus 8 per second. So this fluctuation is very fast. So the light detectors, light detectors means our eye is a light detector or photographic film that is also another light detector. Such a light detectors cannot respond to these type of rapid changes. That means we cannot see it or we cannot watch or observe it through any photographic film. It is not possible. That is, we cannot detect it exactly or we are able to detect only the average value. Thus, the detected intensity is always the average intensity. So, we have to exact total value measure in the to minus 8 per second in the right till common light sources fluctuate. So, we cannot see it or we cannot detect it by using any photographic film. So, we exact value we will get an average value. So, we know the equation i equal to i1 plus i2 plus 2 into root of i1 i2 cos delta. Instead of that, in the case of a common light source or in the case of an incoherent wave, we will get the average value of i. So, that can be represented by i average. So, the equation will be i average equal to i1 plus i2 plus 2 root i1 i2 average value of cos delta. The average value of cosine over a large time interval is zero. It is a fundamental fact. That is the average value of cosine over a large time interval is zero. You know the line wave, you know the cosine wave. So there will be positive value, there will be negative values in a sine wave. That is, when we are discussing a cosine wave, a cycle of the function is symmetrical about the horizontal axis, taking all positive and negative values with equal frequency. A cycle of the function is symmetrical about the horizontal axis, taking all positive and negative values with equal frequency, which is why its average value is zero. Number cosine wave in shape for a horizontal axis in a Symmetrical item, positive side load, negative side load, equal item, fluctuate on Rikana, river. So, other one quantity, an average at the end, automatically that will be zero. This is in the physics, we can also prove it mathematically by using the integration. Anyhow, the term average value of cos theta or cos delta is zero. Since this term is average value of cos delta is zero, the interference term will be zero. So the equation will reduce us to i average equal to i1 plus i2. So we have the equation i average equal to i1 plus i2. Let i1 equal to i2 equal to i0. Then i average equal to i0 plus i0 equal to 2i0. That means there is no interference term. Due to the superposition of two waves, the intensity is just double the intensity of two waves individually. That means there is no increase like constructive interference, there is no decrease like destructive interference. It's just the vector sum. So the interference of incoherent waves does not produce interference but it gives a uniform illumination. 
രണ്ട് വേവുകൾ ഐസോറോ എന്ന ഇന്റൻസിറ്റിയുള്ള ടു ഇൻകോഹറൻ വേവുകൾ കൂടി ചേർന്ന് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് വോൺ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് എ ഇന്റർഫോറൻസ് പാറ്റേൺ ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് എ യൂണിഫോം ഇലമിനേഷൻ ദ ഇന്റൻസിറ്റി ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ദ സം ഓഫ് ഇന്റൻസിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ദ ടു വേഴ്സ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഗീവ് എ യൂണിഫോം ഇലുമിനേഷൻ സൂപ്പർപൊസിഷൻ ഓഫ് മെനി കൊഹറൻ വേവ്സ് we already discussed the maximum intensity when two coherent waves superpose and is given by i max equal to 4 i0 equation nammal already discussed it in previous section so we got that i max equal to 4 i0 idu rendu coherent waves inde case la ana rendu coherent waves ana incoherent waves alla and incoherent waves gal superpose cheyidu kanal we will get an intensity i equal to 2 i0 but here it is two coherent waves two coherent waves superpose edal namku kittuna maximum intensity i max is 4 i0 and i minimum is 0 which is already we have discussed now we need to extend this equation to a new case or a case containing n coherent waves so now this equation is i max equal to 4 i0 i can rewrite the equation like this i max equal to 2 square i0 so it is a case of two coherent waves so for n coherent waves i can write i max equal to n square i0 so it is the equation of maximum intensity for n coherent waves where n is the number of different coherent waves at the superposing point the minimum intensity i mean i equal to 0 if it is two waves or if there are n waves there won't be any difference the equation will be zero that's the minimum value of i the minimum value of i for many coherent waves superpose is zero 